Uh, it seems like we did a problem like this earlier today. Uh, I could be wrong, but we've done one like this where we've got uh, an unknown or a variable here in the denominator. So when we want common denominators, the, we may have to include that x. So I'm going to say that the common denominator is 4x or 4 times x. So I'm going to need to multiply this first term by x both the numerator and denominator, giving us a 9x over 4x. And then we'll add this to x times 4. If you prefer to see that on the other side, that's fine. So 4 times x and 4 times 2, which is 8 over 4x. Uh, another reason why we may be, and you just may be interested in this, is that uh, the reason we're multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same thing is it's kind of like multiplying something by one. It doesn't actually change the value of anything. It just changes the way that it's seen. So uh, 4 over 4, for example, is 1. I don't know if that helps. Or x over x is 1. We've just changed the way that the value of that fraction looks. Right? Like 1 half can be seen as 2 fourths or four-eighths, right? It's the same value, but we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing. Whatever. In any case, we can continue to simplify this. So I've got a 4x in my denominator, and we're going to add these two. We've got a 9x plus the 8. And since the numerator has two unlike terms, we can't simplify this any further. That right there is our final answer.